So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Howdy partners, I'm Michael. Take a seat and join us for a game of Great Western Trail by Pegasus Spiel, where we'll be taking on the role of ranchers, herding our cattle from Texas to Kansas repeatedly in a bid to build up our empires and be the best ranchers in the West. Here the table is already set up. You can learn to do this by watching the how to play video that I've already done. We are using the starting setup, so we've got the buildings in A, B, C, etc. And we're using the A sides of all our custom buildings. And I'm going to be the blue player, and Rogue is going to be the red player. And because Rogue is going first, she is going to have six coins, and I'll get seven. And Rogue's going to start the game by placing her cattleman on the A space and she'll discard a Guernsey to her discard pile in order to get two more dollars. And she can then do a hire. She could have done the hire first but she's chosen to do it this order. She only has eight dollars so she's only going to be able to do the one hire and she's going to spend six to get this engineer here which will go here, covering up this space, meaning she can discard a jersey, if she has one, which she does, in order to move her certificate cube down one. So that's her done with her A, her B, she just needs to do C, drawing back up, and she only has two cards, so she draws two more. And then it's my turn. And in hand I have two jerseys, a black Angus, and a Dutch belt. So I don't think there's any point in me going on A, because I don't have a Guernsey to discard. And I'd quite like to get a building before Rogue gets the chance, so I'm going to start by going on B and discarding the Dutch belt to get $2, and then constructing a building. Now, I only have one worker, so I'm only going to be able to build one of the level 1 ones, which is going to cost 2 money. So that's the 2 that I just got. And I'm actually going to choose to build this one just here. So this pays two coins for each of my buildings that is in Woodlands. So this one is in Woodlands, so that'll help. And also it's got a green hand on, and there's quite a few obstacles here. So that should hopefully mean that I get some money from Rogue for that. And I then need to draw one more card to get my hand back up to four, which is unfortunately another Black Angus. Rogue's then going to move one to join me on B here. And she doesn't have a Dutch belt to discard, but she does have two money in order to build a building, which will be 3A just here, which allows her to discard two identical cattle cards to get free money, and then move her cattleman one space and perform the actions on that space. And I'm just going to do a nice and simple one hop onto this building here to gain me two more dollars. Rogue's then going to go one, two, and although she's gone on my building with the green hand, because she has no money, she doesn't have to pay me anything. So with this first action, she's going to choose to move her certificate down, so it's now on two, and then she can move her engine two, because she's got two engineers, which puts it one, two. And I'm going to go one, two, three. And because I have a black belt, sorry, black Angus, I'm going to discard that, getting two more dollars, and then visit the cattle market. Having just one cowboy and eleven dollars means the only thing I can buy is one of the threes for six. So I'm going to go for this blue free, the Ayrshire, for six dollars. And that goes to the discard pile. And I have less than four cards, so I draw another one. Rogue's then only going to move the one to this space here. And discard two matching cows, in this case jerseys, gaining her three dollars. And she can then move immediately to the next space, where she'll discard a black Angus for two dollars. And she doesn't actually 
have enough money to buy any cattle, so she's not going to go to the cattle market. She does need to draw three more cards, though. We're getting near Kansas, and I want to get rid of the pair of jerseys, so I'm going to go here and discard those to get four dollars. And here I could also spend seven money to remove a hazard, but there are no hazards I really want to remove at the moment, and I'd like the money more right now. And I then draw two more cards, so we've now got, fortunately, not much better. Uh, two Dutch belts, so we're only going to have five at the moment for taking to uh, Kansas. Hmm. Rogue's then going to run past me, one, two, to here, move her train two spaces because she has two engineers and perform auxiliary and she's going to choose to draw a card and then discard a card and she's going to discard a guernsey and i'm going to follow suit joining her there so my engine's just going to move to the one space and we'll draw a card and it's a unique one which is good so we can get rid of one of these duplicates here giving us a much better hand for Kansas. Speaking of Kansas, that's just where Rogue's going to head now. So she'll put out a green TP and there's no choice on where it goes. Uh, she can then pick... Oh, we, we should have people here. Why don't we have people here? Missed that in the setup. She can then pick one of these to put out. And... Yeah, I think she's going to go with the Engineer, which pushes the token down here and then she can choose between a builder or a green TP and I think I think she'll go for the TP then her hand she has a black Angus a Guernsey Dutch belt and a jersey so a total of seven and she's then gonna increase that by one using a certificate maybe no she's just gonna go for the seven so she gets seven dollars there we go seven dollars and she discards her entire hand and then she moves to the next step of placing a token and she's going to take the token off of her auxiliary action to draw one then discard one and she can go up to seven so she's going to go in Colorado Springs which is six which is two crosses between her engine so she has to pay two dollars back to the bank and then we refresh the row here so we get another worker engineer and desert hazard and she'll go back to Texas then draws her hand back up to four cards and I'm then gonna follow suit going to Kansas I'm gonna put out this desert hazard here because I've got buildings next to the desert hazard so that's very good for me uh, then worker-wise, uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to put out really. I think, I think I'll go for the cowboy. And then, obviously, one of the builders. Not really a lot of option, and that's pushing the token down yet again. And then cattle. So I don't have any certificates, uh, but I do have seven value worth of cattle. So we've got the Guernsey, Jersey, Dutch Belt and Black Angus. So those all discard. And I get seven dollars. And I'm going to place my draw and discard into Colorado. But I have to pay three dollars because of how far away I am so a little less benefit for me and then if we refill here uh, 
bit, bit of variety. And um, back to Texas I go. And uh, one, two, three, four. We have Black Angus, Jersey, and two Guernseys in hand for our next turn. Rogue is going to go one, two, over to B. Then discard Dutch Belt to get two dollars, which is then going to spend to build this building here. I'm just going to build it just there. And she then needs to shuffle her deck in order to draw a fourth card. I'm just going to do the short hop to A here because I've got two Guernsey, so I'm going to discard one to get two dollars. And then I've got fifteen dollars to go shopping with the two actions one at cost and one at two extra. Uh, I can get any of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for this guy. And this guy, which will cost 15, so that will be all my money. Then drawing up to four cards, we get ah, another jersey. Then Rogue is going to go one, two, three, using all her movement. But she will have to pay me two coins for the green hand. And then here, she's going to discard two black Anguses to gain three dollars and then move here she doesn't have any more black anguses to discard for the two dollars but she can now visit the cattle market and having just one cowboy and eleven money she is gonna pick up this red for six dollars she goes to her discards and she draws two more cards and it's my go and I'll go one, two, three, and I have to pay Rogue back her two dollars for going on her building, and I gain two from the bank for my one building that is in Woods. Rogue's just going to move the one space, then discard two Guernseys to get four money, and she won't spend the seven to remove a hazard, so she just draws two cards, and then it's my turn. I'm going to hop over to here, move my certificate down, and um, my engine moves to the two. Rogue is going to delay going to Kansas for a bit and go here, moving her engine to one, two, and do the auxiliary action to draw two cards and discard two cards. So, draws one, and then discards a jersey, and draws one, and discards a jersey. I'm going to move one, then choose to trade with the Indians, taking this TP here, giving me one dollar. And then for my auxiliary action, I'm going to take an additional dollar. And Rogue has no choice left but to visit Kansas, so she's going to put out a green TP, replacing the one I just took. Then she's going to place out... I think she's going to place... She's going to place a worker and then she's going to place an engineer and revealing her hand she has a dutch belt, a dutch belt, a jersey and a black angus which is only going to get her five which is a shame um, so she gets five dollars and she's going to take the token off of her one dollar She's unfortunately going to have to go in Wichita, which is going to cost her a point at the end of the game. But does mean because she's ahead of Wichita, she's not going to have to pay anything. She goes back to Kansas, and we refill the Foresight track here. We have a lot of builders. And our first rock slide. Then I'm just going to hop across to the cattle market here, discard a Black Angus for $2, and with my free cowboys, buy a West Highland for $6. Oh, I wonder which one I will go for. I think I'll go for the one worth 5 points, which goes to my discards pile. That I now need to shuffle to draw another card, which, as luck would have it, is the West Highland. So, uh, very nice that. Rogue's then going to go 1, discard a Guernsey for $2, 
and visit the job market where for five dollars she'll buy an engineer which will cover up a space allowing her to discard a jersey to get two more dollars and then she'll spend eight dollars to get another engineer covering this space here allowing her to buy someone from the job market for two less which will be one of these construction guys for five dollars and she then has to shuffle up her discards to draw two more cards I'm just gonna move the one so that I can discard two jerseys to get me four dollars and I can't afford to pay the seven to remove a hazard so drawing cards I get a Guernsey and a Jersey meaning I've got two Guernseys, a Jersey and a West Highland in hand now Rogue is then gonna go one, two discard a Dutch belt for two dollars and pay four dollars to build this here I'm then gonna delay going to Kansas I'm gonna go here, move my engine one and then do the draw and discard auxiliary action so we get Black Angus and we'll discard a Guernsey and again Dutch belt and we'll discard a Jersey Rogue's gonna go one, two she doesn't have to pay anything because she has no money she moves her certificate down to three and then her train forward four just gonna move it all the way up to ten I then move into Kansas I'll put the TP out as I don't want any rock slides as then I'll have to go through a black hand of rogues uh, workers hmm well I could kind of use some engineers I think and there are no engineers in the market at the moment or do I want to focus on cattlemen and not give her more engineers which seems to be her focus oh uh, I mean she'll just be able to put out the engineer on her go anyway so I'm gonna put the engineer out and then we'll go for the builder which moves the token down then revealing hand we have a Dutch belt a black Angus a Guernsey and a West Highland so they're all different so that's a score of 10 gaining me ten dollars I'm not going to use any certificates placing a token 10 will allow me to go into Albuquerque which has a black border so I'm going to take off of my hand size which is going to cost me five dollars to do but I've now increased my hand size to five and I've gone into Albuquerque then I go back to Kansas and we refill this here oh and I forgot I need to pay one two three four five dollars for the X's between Albuquerque and my engine as well my new hand of five cards we have a Dutch belt black Angus, a jersey, a jersey and a black Angus not quite what I had in mind Rogue's gonna jump across to her building discarding a pair of Dutch black belts or Dutch belts for three dollars which then moves her on to the next space she doesn't have enough to go to the cattle market and she doesn't have a black Angus to discard so that's her done after she draws up I had hoped to uh, have drawn a white Guernsey to be able to afford to recruit a cowboy here but as it stands I can't afford to do any recruiting so my options are go through here and pay Rogue two money or go through the water hazards and just lose all my money to the bank um, I mean I'm more inclined to lose the money to the bank than to give it to Rogue but it would mean costing me two money. No, I'm going to go one, two, three. So I give two dollars to Rogue. And I'm then here, so I might as well discard a Dutch belt. Two dollars, and I could build a building. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay two dollars 
to build an extra cattle market for me just there. Rogue's then going to go through this treacherous mountain pass, but currently it has no hazards in it. To so go one there, then along this path, two, and then three to Kansas, where she'll choose to put out this rock slide. No choice on the builder. And then I obviously want cowboys, so she's not going to put a cowboy out. She's going to put another builder, which will move the token down. Then revealing her hand, she has a black Angus, a brown Swiss, a Jersey, and a Guernsey. So all different, and a total of eight. And she's then going to use two of her free certificates, taking her down to one, to make that up to ten. Then going to a station, she'll go in Albuquerque as she's already there, and she'll take off of her hand size which is going to cost her five dollars and she doesn't have to pay anything for X's then she goes back round to Texas draws a new hand of five cards now and we refill the Forsyth track here and then pretty desperate for money so I'm going to stop here and as I have two buildings in Woodlands that will get me four dollars Rogue will just move the one discard a Guernsey for two dollars and visit the job market where she'll pay five dollars to get this builder i'm then going to go one move my certificate down to two and my engine the one up to four rogue will then go one and get four coins i'm then going to go here and pay two dollars to move my engine two up to six and then use my auxiliary to draw and discard so, uh, we'll air shear, well, we'll get rid of a jersey, and then we've got a Guernsey, and I want to keep the Black Angus for when we go to the cattle market, it'll get me two, so we'll get rid of the jersey. Rogue's just going to move the one, and she hasn't got a Dutch belt to discard, so she's just going to pay to build this here for six dollars I'll just move the one then discard a black Angus for two dollars giving me six to visit the cattle market which with three cowboys is just enough to buy a West Highland and I then need to shuffle up and draw another card which is the West Highland uh, not the one I just bought but the one from previously Rogue's then gonna go one two having to pay me two coins and we'll move her certificate down to two and her train along four sorry her engine so one two three four puts it up to 14. i'm then gonna go one two three so if we're going here i lose two dollars to the bank and then here i discard a guernsey to get four dollars and then I can visit the cattle market and I'll spend three dollars to get a Holstein then draw my hand back up to five and with a jersey Rogue's then going to go one discard two jerseys getting her three dollars and then move one to there discard a black Angus for two dollars and visit the cattle market and with just eight dollars and one cowboy all she can afford is this Holstein for six dollars and she then draws back up I'm then gonna go one two to Kansas and I'm gonna put out the blue TP not much choice there and cowboy or engineer hmm whichever I put out is gonna be expensive so I think I'm gonna go with the engineer so I could kind of use engineers, but I also need cowboys. I'm going to put out the engineer, which forces the token down. So we'll refresh the cattle market in a minute. First, let's finish up here. Revealing the hand, we have Jersey, Ayrshire, Dutch Belt, West Highland, and Black Angus, which gives us a total of 12. 
So we get $12. And we can then place in the 12 spot, which will accept black. So we're going to place our second one from our hand size, so increasing our hand size by one more, which is going to cost us $5. And then one, two, three, four dollars for the difference between our trains, leaving us with not a lot of money. But we'll worry about that later. We then go back to Texas, and then we refill our foresight. Oh, a lot of cowboys coming out soon, I feel. And our new hand of six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got two Guernseys, a Black Angus, two Jerseys, and a Dutch Belt. So, we've already got seven there, and we could probably get that a bit higher, I reckon. So, we refill back up to seven cards, so we get six more. We'll sort these out. So we've got a lot of Longhorns there now. A lot of West Highlands. And only one small value. Rogues, then going to go one, two. And discard two jerseys for four dollars. And she can't afford to pay the seven to remove a hazard. I'm then going to go here and discard a Guernsey as we've got an excess at the moment for $2, which gives me $6 so I can afford to go hiring. And I want more cowboys and my six money is just enough for this one, which it allows me to remove a hazard. So I'm going to take the rock slide one, which will give me four points at the end of the game. Rake's turn and she's going to go one to there. She's going to choose not to do the first action of going to the job market. Instead, she's just going to move her train, and she'll be moving it four spaces. So, one, two, three, four. Puts her over to San Francisco at 18 here. I'll then go one, two. I have no money, so I don't have to pay Rogue anything. And I'll discard a Dutch belt to get me two dollars which I'll then use to build a building just here. Rogue's just going to move one again and that'll allow her to move her train four more so one, two, three, four and for her auxiliary action she's going to draw and discard because she's not got a very good hand well that doesn't help her much either so she will discard that well it's better than a Dutch belt. I could use some money, so I'm going to jump here to get four. Then Rogue is going to visit Kansas. And... Hmm. I guess she'll put out a green teepee. And then she'll go here, and... She could do with some cheaper workers. So she's going to put out a worker... Sorry, builder guy. Then here, she's going to go with a cowboy. And then revealing her hand, which we just saw. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot in. There's a lot of duplicates, so we've got seven. But she'll use a certificate to make it up to eight. Then placing a token. With a score of eight, her options are pretty limited. Um, so at least eight is free, Santa Fe. So she'll go there, she's going to have to put a white token. So she's going to remove one from pay a coin to move the engine forward one. And refilling here, we get rock slide, engineer, and another cowboy. So I'm going to go one, two, discard two jerseys for $3. Then move one, trade with the Indians to take this green teepee giving me six dollars and allowing me to perform two auxiliary actions but I'm just going to do the one and take a single dollar. 